Well, hello there! I'm Brad Barton, and welcome to 1.21 Gigawatts, an extremely low-tech look at the 1.21 most interesting stories in geek pop culture today. The Walking Dead has added a brand new cast member for its upcoming fifth season, Seth Gilliam from The Wire and also MTV's Teen Wolf TV series, will appear as a so far unnamed character who is being described as, quote, having two sides, one full of friendly puckish humor and one haunted by a dark secret. Ooh, mysterious. Assuming this is a character transplanted from the comics, most of the internet speculation is focused on Father Gabriel Stokes, who was introduced around issue number 61 of the series. Now, I'll admit I have not personally read that far into the comic series yet, but apparently Father Gabriel is a character that they encounter on the road, more or less in the general timeline of where the show is currently now on TV in regards to the comics. Either way, welcome to The Walking Dead, Seth. I hope that the show does not chew you up and spit you out too quickly. Get it? Because the zombies chew people up. They don't spit them out, though. They swallow their flesh, and then they're transformed into more zombies and Irene Carroll of New York, New York, called my attention to an upcoming exhibit at New York City's Discovery Times Square. Marvel's Avengers Station will be an immersive experience, which allows guests of all ages to both learn about the real-world science behind the Marvel superheroes, and also check out some of the notable props and costume pieces from the films, such as Loki's Scepter and Chitauri Warrior, that sort of thing. The exhibit is being developed in association with NASA and a few other scientific organizations to create a solid educational experience among the capes and all the brightly colored comic book movie Flash. Times uh, Square, uh, Discovery Times Square, sorry, did an amazing job with their Harry Potter exhibit, so I've personally got really high hopes for this. I hope it's a lot of fun. Um, Museum exhibits based on pop culture properties are more and more the rage across the country at museums. One such traveling exhibit debuted uh, in 1997 at the Smithsonian, and it celebrated the 20th anniversary of Star Wars. For today's trivia question, I want you to name that exhibit. It's a tough one, isn't it? The answer to yesterday's trivia question was the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and the first person who responded with a correct answer was Phil Balata of Youngstown, Ohio. Congratulations, Phil! You win a rain stick. Yeah, right? Just like an Amazon rainforest right there. Congratulations again. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate the chance to nerd out with you. If you enjoyed this bite-sized chunk of Geekitude, please do share it with a nerdy friend and help spread the word so that someday I can indeed dominate the world. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel so you never miss a nerd ball second. And of course, you can always reach out and say hello or make story suggestions or just say, what up, Brad? In the comments section attached to this video or over on Twitter, I'm at BradBarton72. That's all for today's 1.21 Gigawatts. I'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Bye-bye.